in a different perspective. Uh, I, I agree if I'm following the hegemonic line that this was a, a legitimate disease that just occurred freely in nature. But since I do not, uh, frankly, what President Barack Obama should have done is call for secession of all American NGOs, corporations, not-for-profits doing uh, non-consensual human experimentation in Africa and everywhere else in the world where it goes on. Ebola, I'm holding in my hands a patent that the U.S. government gave for Ebola in 2012. It says it's invented and it was made in its abstract for experimentation. Uh, governments in Africa were given about $140 million to let uh, experimentation start in January of this year. And now we see people dying from it because it was a disease made to kill and it's killing. And in reality, uh, this late move to me has more to do with creating a panic so people can sell medication as well as kill Africans. Uh, this gentleman and I are going to disagree. I'm an African-American and quite proud of it. Uh, Anglo-Americans have been killing African people for profit and for land for 500 years. This is just another instance, and this is as clear as his government patent, and I dare him to tell me this is a conspiracy theory when they say they made it. When they, this has the U.S. Department of Health as an assignee to this patent for someone to say to me, that uh, it's a conspiracy theory when they say so. Okay. This isn't a conspiracy theory. Stay with this me, is Dr. Kill, Short. Kill people and make money. Stay with me, Dr. Short. It's crossing over to Washington. Uh, Mr. Uh, Lane, your take on uh, what our guest, Dr. Short, has just stated. Well, I think he's a little over the top here. No, well, I'm not over the top. figure out where we are. <laughs> no, I don't, no, I I know don't exactly know exactly where we uh, are. You deal with the patent, sir. Okay. When, the government, when the government says hang they on, give a on, patent for it, it's we'll not get, we'll over the top. Your chance. Deal with the fact that I laid down. The fact is, is that it was okay. made, it the says it's you invented, laid down. it has the name of the inventors on the patent. Okay, let just me Just check the internet. Let me cross this over to Washington. Over the top. This I'm, is just being real. Stay you, with me, Dr. Short. Go ahead, Mr. Lane. I'm, I'm, I, I'm not familiar with the document that he has. We'll, I do we'll know Google it exists. It. I don't deny its authenticity. But let's figure out why the government would have a patent on this. It looks to me in the uh, minimal amount of uh, information I was able to find out uh, to, about this document, this is a patent on a variant of the original disease. Uh, it's certainly well within uh, reason uh, where when you're doing the research on cures and vaccines and things like that, uh, that you would deal with variants on the disease and that you would use that as part of your research to find those cures and those, those vaccines. So oh, the people. fact that the document exists and the fact that the document may be authentic no, is it not is authentic. in itself any sort it's of smoking gun. It is authentic. Don't don't accuse me of lying. This is a government's document. I you never accused you, Dr. Research. Short, well, of well, lying. Let me just jump in here. Let me just jump in here, Dr. Short. Why would the U.S. government want to, uh, according to what you're saying, um, create uh, such a deadly virus? Why would they want to do why that? Why would they have the syphilis experience? Experiments. Why would they have the Pellegra experiments? Why is uh, Dr. James, uh, his name is escaping me, he's at the Mailer School, uh, Mailman School at Columbia, uh, do these kinds of things with Depo Provera in the same areas? Um, we have a history of, of doing all kinds of unjust and illegal things with substances, not just outside of the United States, but within. The Tuskegee experiment is the best known, but there are many many others. And so it's time for this to stop. Uh, Bill and Melinda Gates, he just put his mouth in this. He's run uh, non-consensual human experimentation that's watched people die in Africa. This is old. They did it to the Native Americans with certain diseases as a person of part Native American descent. I can't be as clinical and detached as a gentleman in Washington. By the way, that's the land that was stolen from my people by whites using diseases like Ebola. All right, stay with me both, I guess, Mr. Lane and Dr. Short. I want to cross over to our Facebook uh, page and see what uh, some of our viewers have said about this subject. Defiantly, the Americans have developed a lab strain to use it as a weapon, and for sure, this strain is that very lab strain. That's why it's spreading more quickly than the old natural strains seen before. 
The U.S. is a scapegoat for all the losers out there who can't take responsibility for their own actions. They already have a vaccine and cure for this. That's why they already have a patent on it. AIDS didn't kill fast enough, so they created Ebola. AIDS and Ebola are attributed to U.S. war factories, and that's what we call the NWO, New World Order. Why do they have to bring soldiers instead of doctors? Is Ebola a terrorist? Let the fools be fooled. This will definitely be an interesting debate. Can't use my guesswork to know whether Ebola is man-made or not. I only want to flip through each evidence provided from each side. All I know is that it is a dangerous infection. Press TV, why can't you make